right now at 5. Support from the state. FHP troopers are coming to Stoneman Douglas. She brought a knife to protect herself. Uh, you know, Parkland's not protecting. As a student charged with bringing a knife to school faces a judge. She's terrified. I, I had to practically shove her in the car to get her to go back to school. Tonight, facing a new reality after the deadly school shooting. And it has been a concerning couple of days for the students and the parents at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High who are now dealing with security concerns, serious ones. First, the arrest of the confessed school shooter's brother on campus and then students arrested and word a school resource officer stationed there was asleep on the job. CBS 4's Peter Dench begins our team coverage live from the school in Parkland. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay, the FHP troopers will be here in the morning. They'll be at points where students enter the school. Now, parents we spoke with generally favor this, saying you can never have enough security, but there was a mixed reaction among students. It's a good thing because, I mean, it's going, we are going to be more safe. That's what some students are saying about the new measure to beef up security. Governor Scott says FHP will be deploying eight troopers to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. We will stop at nothing to protect our schools and students. In another tweet, he says the troopers will report for duty in the morning to help secure entry points. I think we should do anything we can to protect the school. The troopers will supplement the BSO deputies who are here along with these guardian angels. I think it's a good idea. I think that, that kids need it. They need the security. We need the security. It's been a horrible month. This is where 17 lives were taken, BSO says, during a rampage by Nicholas Cruz. Cruz's brother Zachary was held on half a million dollars bond Tuesday for trespassing at the school, and now security is being stepped up. I think it's wonderful. I think they need as much security as possible. I think the big issue here is making our schools safe. But some students are not impressed. That's a little obsessive. That's a little, like, too much. We don't need troopers. Students and their parents are both troubled by news that BSO deputy Moises Karate has been suspended with pay after he reportedly fell asleep in his patrol unit after school had let out. It's terrible. Get, get somebody. I mean, how do you do that? How do you fall asleep on the job? Sheriff Scott Israel released a statement saying every single deputy will be held accountable for his or her actions, and any failure to protect the public will not be tolerated. No one expects more from our agency's public safety personnel than I do. That's like ridiculous because your, your job is supposed to like watch us and protect us from everything that's like coming in, and you're not sleeping. Now, in a statement, the sheriff says he holds his 5,400 employees to the highest standards. He says he'll decide what action should be taken against a deputy who fell asleep after an internal investigation. We did request an interview with the sheriff, but we were told he was not talking on camera. We're live in Parkland. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.